Hello friends welcome back to my channel. Learn CBSE. Today I am going to explain chapter 1 of Geography Class 6. The Earth in our Solar System. Before we start if you are new at my channel then please. First subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for further updates. So let's begin. When you see in sky, you can see that there is the sun, the moon and millions of stars. These all objects are known as celestial bodies. Also known as heavenly bodies. Earth is also one of them. Some celestial bodies have their own heat and light are called star. The sun is also a star. It is Earth's nearest star. Some celestial bodies do not have their own heat and light. They only reflect the light which they receive from star like the sun. These are called planets. The word planets means wanderer. Earth is also a planet. The sun and the nine planets make up the family of the sun or the solar system. There are several other members too. They are small celestial bodies revolving around the planets. They are called satellites. So far 49 satellites have been discovered in our solar system. The Sun is the center of the solar system and million times larger than Earth. It is made up of extremely hot gases. It is source of heat and light. Without Sun, Earth would be cold and lifeless. The Sun is 149 million kilometers away from the Earth. Light travels with a tremendous speed of about 3,00. 000 km per second. Yet, even with this speed, the light takes about 8 minutes to reach Earth. Between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter there is a swarm of small bodies which also revolve around the Sun. They are called asteroids. They are believed to be the pieces of a planet which probably exploded after its birth. All the nine planets of the solar system revolve around the Sun counterclockwise in elliptical parts known as orbits. All of them move in the same direction in their revolutions. The planets also rotate on their own axis. Except Venus and Uranus all other planets rotate in the same direction in which they revolve. Since Mercury is the nearest to the Sun, it takes only about 88 days to complete one revolution. Pluto is the farthest so it takes about 248 years to complete one revolution. Our Earth revolves once in about 365 days and 6 hours. Mercury is the hottest and Pluto is the coldest planet. It is said that if the heat of the Sun were to be increased or decreased by as much as 10% a large part of Earth would turn into a hot desert for an icebound desert. Earth is the third nearest planet to the Sun. In size it ranks fifth. It is slightly flattened at the poles. In size and shape the Earth is almost identical to Venus. But it is unique in some ways. It is the only known planet of the solar system where life is possible. It is because of the presence of water modern temperature and moderately dense atmosphere containing gases useful in supporting life on the Earth. Earth is also known as the blue planet because of the presence of water. The word satellite means a smaller companion to anything. The moon for example is a satellite of the Earth which moves around the Earth and also around the Sun along with the Earth. There are 49 satellites in our solar system. Except Mercury and Venus all the other planets have one or more satellites. Like planets the satellites to have no no light of their own. Earth has only one satellite that is the moon. The diameter of the moon is only one-fourth of that of the Earth. It appears so big because it is very close to us. It is about 385,000 kilometers away from us. The light reflected by the moon reaches us in just one and quarter seconds. The moon revolves around the Earth in about 27 days and 8 hours. There is no air or water on the moon. It is very hot during the day and very cold during the night. Its surface is very uneven and there is no soil. Our planet Earth which appears so big is just a tiny speck in the vast space. It is just one of the members of the solar system. Like our solar system millions of star systems make one galaxy. The name of our galaxy is the Milky Way. The distance in the universe are measured in light years. The distance light travels in one year. 
the light of the nearest star Proxima Centauri to the Sun reaches us in about four years. The light of some stars may take millions of years to reach us. There are countless stars whose lights are still traveling but have not reached us yet. Thanks for watching. If you like this video hit the like button. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. Bye for now meet you in next video.